I won. Welcome back to another end of the week. Crypto Gorilla video where we cover the biggest news stories in all of Web3. If you enjoy these weekly news updates, would you kindly hit that like button as it really helps my channel reach a wider audience. Starting off with the biggest news story of the week and the one that's going to get the most engagement in my thumbnail is of course XRP being declared not a security by the US courts. Now not only am I not a financial advisor, I'm also not a lawyer. I don't believe this means the lawsuit is immediately over between the SEC and Ripple, as this only addresses the sales on the second dairy market of XRP and not the initial sale. However, on this news, XRP did a god candle on the charts and went from trading sideways at 47 cents to pumping all the way above 90 cents depending on the exchange you are using, settling around 80 cents. Now, of course, we also saw Gemini and Coinbase either announce or resume trading of XRP on their platforms, for which the announcements definitely helped push the upwards momentum. But this is not only great for XRP, it's really good for the entire crypto market and many are saying this is the true beginning of the bull market now i don't want to get too ahead of ourselves there's definitely still a ton going on in the world so we can't pretend that this is going to be up only but it is amazing news and i believe that most tokens fall under the same laws as xrp especially ethereum it's going to be near impossible to say eth is a security when xrp is not jumping into nft news after failing to mint out the much awaited ether airdrop 2000 nfts to their current holder and switched to a Dutch auction for the remaining 1,500 NFTs, raising the team a total of roughly $2 million. Now, they also opened up the manual art reveal, meaning we saw a post-reveal dump, and it is down quite bad. The revealed ones are at 0.15, and the unrevealed ones are at 0.25. Now, I personally really like the art. Vi is super talented, but I don't feel these make good PFPs, as there's a lot of detail, and the Twitter and Discord circles, especially Discord, are very small, so it's sometimes hard to make out what it is. I've seen a few people rock some of these and I couldn't tell. I knew it was an ether, but I couldn't make out the shape of the character. This is similar to what happened with PXN. All of them, it was more about the color shading than the detail. However, when I tried PXN on as a PFP, I knew that was my cue to exit. But I don't want to take away from the ether art. As I said, I really like it. There was also a one of one sale that went for 14 ETH. So that is great for the collection. However, I'm seeing a lot of people compare the art to Kiwami Genesis which dropped over a year ago. So all of this on top of the FUD and criticism that they're getting, it's a lot for a team to have to deal with. Next, we did get some news from Memeland as they announced earlier this week their pre-sale allocation for the meme coin, which I covered in my video on Tuesday. However, Ray did hold a very long AMA in the Discord where he let pretty much anybody who had a question from the community come on stage and grill him. So kudos to Ray for doing this. He stayed up until like 4 a.m. his time. So some details that we did find out are that MVPs, captains, and the potato NFTs are going to be holding the meme coin inside them, meaning the only way to unlock them periodically over time is going to be through staking. Now, not to show my bags, keep in mind I own seven captains, but the way I look at it, this could potentially set up captains and MVPs and potatoes for a post coin pump rather than the typical dump that we see with airdrops. And this is really going to depend on the performance of meme coin, because if it's doing really well on the secondary market and the only way to unlock it is through a captain, if the coin is going up over time, the captains are going to be worth more and more since the coin is held within them. Now, as for meme coin itself, we did get some clues on when it's going to be launching. Somebody did come up on stage and mention they're going on vacation. Should they bring a laptop with them? They're leaving in nine days. Ray said that's in less than two weeks. No, you won't need a laptop, which some took to mean that it's going to be dropping in less than two weeks, but we didn't even have the pre-sale yet. So that doesn't make sense. What makes more sense is that it is after two weeks time. As he also mentioned, meme coin is going to be dropping before the first trade pack, which is happening in August. So the most likely scenario is that meme coin is happening in early August. Next up, we had two announcements by Board Ape Yacht Club. The first being the upcoming launch of Made by Apes, which the video describes as a club for builders with on-chain verification. And if we look through the video, you can see a ton of Board Ape Yacht Club IP products. So it seems
seems like they're launching a club, but maybe this is also going to be some sort of marketplace. And the second thing being the announcement of Ape Fest happening in Hong Kong on November 3rd until November 5th. Continuing in Yuga Labs news, we also got some trailers out of Wagmi-san from 10KTF, which expand on their story. Now, I for one have been impatiently waiting on the PFP from the G tags, which are down really bad from when I first bought them at 0.9 ETH. And I could have got out at 1.6 ETH when they pumped. However, I really wanted the PFP, so a very expensive mistake as they're currently sitting at like 0.35. But the second of the three trailers did give us some hints towards the G tags after two minutes of talking about chairs, which had some great audio design. I did like the videos, but the real juice is in the second half of the second video where they mentioned first that they're going to be launching a new game mode where you can earn these popcorns, which you would be able to combine with your G tag, as well as the ability to fuse G tags together in order to unlock a rarer PFP, making the G tag collection deflationary. Next up, we have Google revealing some of the upcoming changes to the Google Play Store, which would allow developers to incorporate digital assets into their apps and games. Now, there are going to be rules that developers have to abide by, some of which are disclosing that their apps or games contain blockchain based elements, as well as a restriction on promoting any sort of money making through play to earn or through trading or whatever it is, no promoting profits. Now, this story comes out not too long after Meta announced that you're going to be able to download apps directly on their platform, putting them in direct competition with the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Continuing in global news, a story that didn't get as much attention as I thought it would is that Europe is set to launch their very own spot Bitcoin ETF as early as this month through Jacobi Asset Management. Now, their ETF was originally supposed to launch last year in July. However, with the crash of Terra Luna, as well as FTX, they thought it would be better to hold off. Now, with so much positive news around BlackRock's ETF filing and the positive impact it did have on crypto, I was hoping this would have any sort of impact on the prices. However, it pretty much didn't do anything. But as I said, this is supposed to launch in July. So perhaps once it goes live and they start buying Bitcoin, we're going to see some upwards momentum. Next, I spoke about this one a bit on Tuesday. We did see Arkham announce their bounty marketplace, which would allow people to buy and sell crypto related data on their marketplace and snitch on each other in order to receive bounties, which has a lot of people rightfully upset. And they also announced a token airdrop, which would be happening on July 18th, for which the snapshot was already taken on July 8th for early adopters. Closing off in some fundraising news, we first have Exterio raising $15 million through Binance Labs to continue development on their gaming platform for multiple free to play games. Now, Exterio is currently developing multiple games such as Age of Dinos, Abyss World, and Overworld who do have an upcoming avatar mint. And since the last time I covered this platform, it does seem that they have added multiple games to their website, such as Medicine, Shiba Shiba Doge, Puffverse, and River Elysium. Finally, we have Sound.xyz announcing a whopping $30 million raise through A16Z to help fix the broken economics from streaming platforms, allowing artists to directly sell to their fans and offer special benefits to their supporters. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching New Crypto Gorilla.